Hi, now let's talk about using Google Takeout to transfer your Google Drive contents and Gmail into another Gmail account. Now this is a little different from our other Google Takeout video. Uh, that talked about the process of actually downloading all of your material out of Google. This is going to be a little more restrictive, but if you have another Gmail account that you want to transfer things into, this is arguably a simpler process. And this could be useful for students who are maybe leaving the district and transferring into another district or a, a university who also uses Google accounts. Uh, this could be useful for teachers who move from one district to another, uh, or even if a, a teacher wants to share their entire you know, contents of their Google Drive with another teacher. So let's first take a, a broad overview here. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is get to the correct website, which sounds simple, but uh, Google's changing this stuff all the time, and we want to make sure we get to the website that allows us to transfer our content. And I've linked that here, but I will uh, show that to you here in just a moment as well. Once we're there, we're going to sign in with our district Google account, the one that we want to take our things out of. And then we're going to plug in the email address of the Google account that we want to transfer our things to. And when we do that, uh, Google is going to send an email to that second account. And it's going to allow you to click a button and get a little verification code. You're going to take that code and put it back into that Google Takeout page and then that's what's going to connect these two accounts so that Google knows it's okay to transfer the information from one to the other. And finally, you'll then choose what content you want to transfer over. In this version of Google Takeout, uh, you're much more limited. You can essentially take out all of the contents of Drive all of the contents of Gmail, or you can choose uh, just one or the other. And then you start your transfer, and your materials will, will start moving over uh, immediately. However, depending on how much stuff you have, that process may take a long time to fully finish. So let's keep a few things in mind as we talk about this uh, transfer from one place to another. First of all, the files that we'll copy are going to be your emails in Gmail, and your files in Google Drive. Things that do not copy would be anything that's found in Google Photos and then you'll find that some files in Google Drive won't transfer over either and that's going to be those in which you are only a viewer of the material and not the editor or an owner or files where the owner has turned off the ability to download, print, and copy the files. So you may want to check your permissions on everything before you start the transfer. So what happens when things have been copied? Well, in Gmail, all of your emails will end up with the same label, and that label will be your school account name and the date you started the copy. And then in Drive, they're all going to be put into one folder that's going to be titled your school account name and the date you started the process. And I'll show you that here in a moment as well. So what changes on these copied files? Well, uh, you automatically become the owner of all of those copied files. It doesn't affect the owner's original files in any way. Uh, the copy files are not shared with anybody by default. So if they were shared before, they lose that sharing. But you can always go ahead and turn around and share them again. And any comments on files, so uh, comments in a Google Doc, for example, they are copied but the revision history on those files is not copied. And then if you are looking at this PowerPoint uh, itself, you can go ahead and go to this website to see even more detailed information from Google. Now I want to actually show you some of the things that I was just talking about. Um, here I am in my uh, student account, and in order to get to that website, I said that's uh, a little complicated. I'm going to just Google search Google Takeout. Now, the trick here is that the, the first link that you get will take you directly to the page where you can download out your data. And that's the one that's covered in the other video. And it's not the one that we want right now. So I'm going to uh, hit this arrow and back out of that page. And now you can either scroll down 
for quite a while or on the left side over here you can click on control your content and that's going to jump you down to this area now here you see the link for downloading your data which is where we were a second ago but you're also under that going to see a link for transferring your content so click on start transfer and you're taken to the correct page now note that up here at the top it'll say uh, takeout.google.com slash transfer so that's another way that you can get to this page now once you're here this is the site where you're going to put in the email address of the uh, website that you want to transfer your material to it will send that code you put in the verification code in step two and you select your content to transfer in step three so pretty straightforward now uh, I can show you what this looks like in my teacher account which is where I transfer the material to here you'll see I have a folder that was created with the name of my student account and within that folder I have all the contents that came over from my student account so uh, hopefully you can find a way to uh, utilize this transfer process whether you're a student or a staff member if you have any questions as always please just contact your district instructional technology coach. Thanks for watching.